Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Darren and today I'm back at my home course, Tanamera Country Club's uh, Tampanese Golf Course. This course has hosted the Singapore International Series early in the year in January. And early in the year we had really tough conditions. The greens were hard as well as the wind conditions was really strong. It was kind of harsh on the golfers. And now it's approaching the mid-year and I think over the last few weeks, I've been playing on the course and the greens has been softer and the wind has been rather still. In today's episode, I'm going to show you on why planning and course management is really important, especially on this course. So the characteristics of Tampanese course will be that the fairways are rather wide and you can almost miss it even into the rough, provided the roughs are not grown really very thick. But the approach is really crucial as depending on where the pin position is, where you land the ball on the green or where you miss it will be critical in you getting up and down. And it could really mean that you save a par or get a double bogey. So hole one is 352 meters par four. And the first thing I would take note would always be where the pin position is. And today the pin position is a center pin, a white pin, and is on the left side of the green. Now this green is longish and narrow. So I want to place my ball on the fairway so I have a good approach towards the green. My ball has found the right side of the fairway. From the view here, when I'm looking at the pin, it's a white pin and then there is a backstop behind the pin. So which means I can still hit it slightly longer against the hill. And the ball, if I'm lucky enough, the ball will spin back or it would stop and land softly and the ball will come back down from the slope. My ball is just outside the green, so I can't really mark my ball and sort of align. I, I use a line on my ball. So I'm going to pick an immediate spot. I would say about a foot from my ball. And I will want my ball to go over the line and hopefully the ball would get into the hole. Now on this course, we have two really long par fours. Number two is one of them and the other one is hole 15. So hole number two, we'll be playing off the blue tees. It's 440 meters. There's a tree on the right side. I don't think I can carry that because it's headwind right now. Uh, it's uh, getting really strong. My plan is to put it center or slightly left uh, towards the bunkers. And I would just play before the second bunker on the ferry. Normally with a strong headwind, I would tee it down just a little bit. And instead of me going really hard at the ball, I'm just gonna make a smooth swing to lower down the spin. Now my second shot, it's a red pin and the pin is tucked on the right side. It's a front right pin. The bunker is just right of that pin. I do not want to go to the bunker because it's going to be a really difficult up and down and not really sure what kind of line we're going to get in the bunker as well, even though I love the bunkers. So the best possible spot for me would be to get the ball left of the flag as we would have a lot of green to work with. So remember, uh, to miss the ball on the fat side of the green would enable you to have a higher chance to get up and down for par. So I've got three iron, I've got 195 meters to the pin with a slight headwind. If this comes up short, it's fine too. So I hit that really low and it's heading towards the left side of the green. 
my ball has come short uh, just on the left side and this is my view if I were to move my view towards the right side you can see that actually I have still quite a bit of green to work with so I will call this the fat side now let's move over to the right side if let's say my ball would be right over there now wouldn't this be a really difficult spot for us to get up and down and save par and probably the worst case a double bogey if we chunk it into the bunker and blade it right to the back Not bad, up and down for par. Hole three, we're playing off the back. It's 406 meters. And this offers a beautiful view of our lake. That's in between hole eight, seven, and hole number three. Beautiful, huh? Wind, it's rather strong. I'm still gonna stick to um, teeing down just a bit lower and slow down the swing so that I can keep the spin low and the ball is able to penetrate the wind. I would say center or center right of this ferry. Okay, I pulled it slightly and now the ball is on a rough. Let's go there and see what we're dealing with. Okay, so now I'm on a very severe downslope, not the ideal life for us to approach this screen. And we've got a tree overhanging on the top and there's a small one in front of us. Now I've got 164 meters and I would say the right spot to be at on this green would be on the right side. Even though the pin is tucked on the left, if I miss it any way left, I could probably hit this tree or even not get onto the green. So. I would say being optimistic, hit it right side of the green. I'm going to put it just slightly at the back of my stance and a three quarter swing. So the downhill line, you want to be a bit more stable, bend more down from the hips and shorter swing for a solid contact. I hit that really good. I think it's front of the green. If I'm lucky, it probably hopped up and maybe towards the middle. So let's see. Well, I'm very happy with the result. Uh, the ball is uh, middle, middle front on the right side. You see the pin is on the left. And I need to make a two part, just a longish part uphill, but I think it's doable. You know, the good thing about golf is that we don't have to hit the ball close to the pin every single time to get a good score so let's get this there so i've hit the ball on the right side of the green it's a fat side we've got lots of green to work with which is a good thing and i just need to figure out the break on this hole so i'm feeling the slopes with my feet and we've got actually a triple break it's right to left in front sorry it's right to left to right and then right to left again so I think slightly right of the hole let's say two cups and all we need is the right speed Okay, so that's a three footer for par. Let me just tap it in. Okay, let's move on to the next hole.